اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد so inshallah today we will do the followers at tawabi first follower we have is naas or the sifa so sister rafi you can start reading just read the whole of the bab an naas and then i will uh, translate it and then we will get into the class mode inshallah ിമുഹം <laughs> ഹാസിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹിഹി
the two things include in the ifmul ladhi. Then number four is ifmul ladhi fihi aliful walam. So the ism which has in it the alif and the lam. So the ism with alif lam is always proper. We know this. And then example is al rajulu and al bulamu. And then the fourth thing is wama udifa. Illa wahidin min hadhi arba'a, and whatever is a mudaf to one of these four things. So also we will get into the detail of this when we get into the class notes. And then he is talking about what is nakara. <coughs> it's very easy to hmm, simply uh, identify what is nakara. We say that whatever is uh, not proper, then it's going to be common. And so he is saying kulu. It means Sha in fiji fiji. So it is any ism or all the isms. Sha in it means vast or general fiji fiji in its category. So it is vast in the category. La takhta subhi wahidun wahidun e akhir. And you will not be able to identify one from the other. So they are basically uh, or one and the other are the same, and you will not be able to identify what is what. Now then he is saying, "وَتَقْرِيبُهُ كُلُّ مَا سَلُهَا دَخُولُ الْأَلِفِ وَالْلَّامِ عَلَيْهِ." And it is almost everything upon which alif and lam can enter. So alif and lam will enter upon it, and from common it will make it proper. And then examples he have given, "الْوَجُولُ وَالْفَرْسُ." Okay, so let's get into the class. Try to make it easy. Okay. Yes. So this is day five. Okay. So this this um was important uh, and interesting thing I found. I was listening to the lecture of Yasser Qadi. He's doing a very interesting series uh, from Sahihul Bukhari. And uh, he is doing chapter eighty, Babud Dawar, Kitabud Dawar. So there he explained that usually whenever we see this word in a book, Bab, and we generally translate it as chapters. But the, the actual meaning of Bab, we all know, is door. So he explained that basically a book is like a mansion, and each chapter is like a door. So when you enter into that door to that particular room. You are able to uh, discover a new treasure. So hence, they name the bab as chapters. So I found that very interesting. Then we are doing at tawabe. So tawabe is the singular. Tawabe is the plural, and at tawabe is singular, which means follower. And whatever it will follow, that is matbu, the one being followed. So you can see that. At tabi is the ismul fa'il, and al matbu is the ismul maf'ul. So first, we always, always the sequence will be like this: that first we will have the matbu, and after that we will have the tabi. So then we say there are four tabi. The chapter doesn't say it, but I have categorized it like this: the first is the nat, the ataf, the badal, and the taqid, and we have started with the the nat. So, either we can say the manud and nat, which the book is using. This is the um, terminology uh, Ibn Ajroom is using, but the, the terminology we are most familiar with is the motif and the sifa. And here he said that it is going to follow the status, means Rafa Nasabenjar, the era, <coughs> or it is going to follow the the type, tarif, or watan ki, the being proper or being common. Then the five things he said. Mm, quickly, we will go through them again. The proper nouns we know. Ana, anta, and there is a long list of the uh, sorry the pronouns. And then the second thing is the proper names. Again, we are familiar with the proper names too. And this is the vague ism. Ismul mubham, mubham. Sorry, ismul mubham. And they are the pointer words. As I said, that uh, the vague ism will include the pointer words. Like Hada and Tilka, and they will also include the Ismul Mosul, Al Ladi, Al Ladina, and so on. Then 
the ism with alif lam we know that whenever alif lam enters upon a word it will always make it proper and the last thing is whatever is mudaf to any the one of the four so four things that are mentioned above whatever is a mudaf to them will also be proper so the first example is for a pronoun whatever is a mudaf to a pronoun will be proper so it is kitabuka then proper name the example is kitabu zaidin third is um, the vague noun and then i have given example with the pointer verb which is kitabu hada and the ismul mawsul kitabul ladhi ja the book of the one who came and then the last one is whatever is the mudaf to a word which has alif lam so that example is kitabu rajul so now if the mudaf has the mudaf ilay which is proper then obviously the mudaf will also be proper we know it this is another way of um, the same thing like we already know it but the terminology was a little different then about <coughs> common we know it's quite easy that every noun which is general and cannot be easily distinguished from the others of the same category and when and it usually accepts alif lam upon it so it accepts alif lam upon it without the alif lam it is going to be common and with the alif lam when the alif lam enters upon it it will become proper so now some example okay. so we said according to the book afi can you explain that means line you just that it cannot be differentiated from the things uh, i uh, can you explain that what does that mean can't be easily distinguished from the others from the same category what does that mean we say a book so means a book is just a book and all the books are almost the same if we just say a boy so a boy is general and all the boys are generally the same so there is nothing particular or specific about it okay then we have the quranic examples and here we will focus upon the quranic examples where only two properties will match which means the status will match and the type will match so this is an example in hada lahu al hasasu al haq al hasasu and al haq so we see that the rafa and rafa it is matching type thing and both of them have alif lam so when it has alif lam <coughs> we know that both of them are proper okay so alif says because it is plural and we treat it when if we have a plural and non human we treat it as singular feminine okay and then here what will happen this is singular but it is masculine so we see that only four proper out of the four properties only two properties are matching but still uh, even when we look at the translation indeed this is a true narration so this uh, al haq is the sifa or the nat for hasas and the other example we have yes very uh, uh, the aya we are very familiar with wa kazalika ja'alnakum ummatan wasatan so ummatan and wasatan so we see that both of them do not have alif lam means they are um, common and then they have talwin in the end so both of them are nasab other than that we see that ummatan is if we have amr buta and and matan is can be treated as a ismul jama so the rest of the properties are not matching only the two properties are matching which is the nasab and being common so some in most of the cases all four properties will match but we will have certain cases where only two properties out of the four will match so if even the two properties are matching the, the type is same and the status is the same so two words can, can be uh, mosu stifa or manut and nas so if there is a question up till here quickly ask otherwise there is a new thing we have to get into the nata sababi okay 
so there is so this was a common type of a uh, mosul sifa or manut na that we have been covering and we are familiar with this is a new topic there is another kind of a na and this sifa or this na is about something related to the mosul or something related to the manut that is also called sifa bihale mutaallika mosul so it is actually not about the mosuf itself but rather something related to it i will give you an okay so again for this kind of sifa the two things will match the sense and the tip will match the example is a simple example ja rajulun alimun abuhu the man came whose father is a scholar this is what the translation is saying okay so now rajulun is the manut and alimun is the nar now we have to look into it and see that only two properties will match both of them are rafa and both of them are what common okay <clears throat> this is what will have to match between the two when we look at the translation alimun now look at the translation this alimun is not a sifa about the man himself rather this is about his father isn't it so this is actually not talking about the man but is talk about father so say that this is a sifa for the mutaallik for rajul and what is the mutaallik for rajul that is his father abu who in the sentence so how will we identify it what will happen that after an ism you will most of the time just for this beginner level i'm saying most of the time you will see the ismul fa'il or the ismul maf'ul so this ali means we know it is the ismul fa'il okay and then we have is between this rajul ali after the ismul maf'ul so after that we In so we know that Abu who is in the Rafa status. So basically, this property is not about the Rajul himself. Rather, it is about something related to it. And here, what is related to it? His father is related to it. So the property is, or the sifa adjective is about his father. This is clear to everyone. We will do some more examples, so I I think we will be able to understand. I'll give some examples from the Quran, inshallah. So, okay, so this ayah from okay. So this ayah says, "Alam tara an Allah anzala min al sama ima an fa akhwa zabihi thamaratin muhtalifan alwanuha." Okay, so thamaratin is the mosuf or the manuf. And muhtalifan. It's Babi Istial family eight, and again it is ismul fa'il. So you see that now we have whether two properties are matching. Although this is samaratin, but it is atin. So this is basically um, the mafule bihi for akhrajna. So it is in the nasab. This is not in the jar status. It is the nasab. Muhtalifan is also in the nasab status because of the fathatan. Second thing, both of them are common because they both don't have the alif lam ring upon them. The third thing we have to check that after it has to be an ism in the rafa status. So alwanuha, its colors, alwanuha, the noon with the damma here says that this is in the rafa status. So basically, this muhtalifan is the sifa for alwanuha. It's not about the fruits. Look, let us look at the translation, and then we will discuss it further. It is saying, "Do you see that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala sends down the rain from the sky, and He produces thereby fruits of varying colors?" So, samarat, a muhtalifan, is actually not real. It's not about samarat totally, but it is about something which is related to samarat. What the colors of it? And what what about the colors of it? Muhtalifan means different colors. So, so 
what happens that um, we will see that two properties have matched. This is a smooth file. After the smooth file um, is an ism in the rafa status. So again, it is going to be the manood and not. So we will say that samarwatin is the manood and mukhtalifan is the sifa or the naat for it. Next example we have. Rabbana akhrizna min hadithi al-qariyati ni zhualimi zhualimi ahliha. So here, our Lord take us out from the city of pressed people. So al-qariyati is the manood. After that, we say what is the ismu ta'il and the the art for after this we see ahluha is and in the, the rough status so what about the city it's people so who are the sir or who are zalim the people are zalim so basically yeah but it is a it, what is the with this sentence the ahluha the people so this is basically giving a property and adjective about the people of the city but in this construction we will say that al qaryati is the manood the zalimi is the naat for it and third example is okay from surah al baqarah so then this about the cow is giving a description. This safara is a normal sifa for it. The yellow color of the cow. Okay. When we look at the next thing, faqiun, it is basically faqiun means bright. The launuha its color. So basically, when we the, again it is a small file, and after small file, we see it's in the rough status. So basically, this file on brightness is not about the cow, rather, it is about the color of the cow, and the color of the cow basically is the mutaallif to the, the cow. So these are the three examples from Quran, probably the big. Complicated, but if you go through the recordings one more time, you'll be able to understand. If someone has a question, you can ask quickly. The Nath is the Ismu file. The Sierra will be yes, it was by all the examples we have done so far. First was book the size is most fine, but obviously in the sentence structure it comes apart here. And here it is on the pattern of trial, so again it is family, family one. So the manut is not considered as for the system in. Sister, your voice is cutting. I'm not able to hear anything. Because everyone is using internet, I have not. I have tried it with the Wi-Fi. I have tried doing it with the D as well, but I cannot help. I wasn't able to hear what you said. Okay, please just give me a minute. Let me see if Sister Zan can hear me. Because she is recording. Yes, I can hear you. It must be breaking in the middle. I can know, but this is a problem. Everyone in the world is facing because everyone is using um, their laptops and internet and working from home. So this is something no one can help. Sometimes it's going to be from my side, my internet is weak. Sometimes it's even going to be from your side that your internet is weak. But that's a problem. I will repeat. 
matter. So yes, it is going to be the is file, the sigha will be small file, but that is small file will become the manut for the uh, sorry that will become the nad for or the sifa for the word before it. And I have highlighted it in different colors to make it easier to understand. So here, samaratin is the mosuf. Let us say mosuf sifa to make it simpler for you. So samaratin is the mosuf. And mukhtalifan is the sifa for it. So basically, this mukhtalifan is not related to. It's not asfa about marat. No, it's not different fruits. But rather, had it been a sifa for fruits, then it was the translation was different fruits. But actually, this is not a different fruits, but it is fruits of different colors. So this mukhtalifan is actually about the. Alvanuha, the colors of it. Is it clear now? I think the confusion is that uh, who sifa is it in the end? No, so we the, the coloring, the color coding is done for the purpose so that you can mm -hmm. understand what it is. The blue color is the mosuf. The green color is the sifa. So that should make it simpler to understand. Mm -hmm. So, Amaratin, Amaratin, together is the file for Fakhrajna? No, sir. Amaratin is the Mosuf. Mukhtalifan is the Sifa for Samaratin. Okay. Alwanuha, I will not tell what it is because that is further more confusing. But for now, you will say what the topic is saying that it is the Sifa, the name of it is. Na al sababiya, or it is a sifa lil mutaallik and mosu. This is a sifa that will give you a quality about something related to the mosu, but you will not mark alwanuha as uh, as the mosu. Rather, amarokin be uh, will be marked as the mosu here. Okay, Api, um, how will we be able to distinguish it between a mosuf and sifa and an nahata sababi? Like uh, in an nahata sababi, it has to match in only two properties, right? That's the proof. Like for a mosuf sifa, they have to match in all of their properties. So, uh, just have given here a hand. The examples that there are going to be normal Mosul Sifas as well, these two examples, and they will just match two properties. In most of the cases, again, have to understand that whatever we did in Axis 1 or Axis 2, that was just the beginning of it. So that was a concept that will, you can generalize it, but it's not always 100% true. So now what Ibn Ajroom is saying, he said that only two things are going to match. The status will match and the type will match. So when he is giving this statement, this statement is true 100% all the time. So we said that the four properties will, let's say, 95% time. There are going to be five rare cases where only two properties will match. And these two examples that you see on the screen, these are the examples of a normal Mosul sigma where only two properties are matching. Is this one clear to you? Yes. Further, when we went into the uh, Nath uh, Sababi. Uh, I have a question. Yes, Sister Ahar. Okay. We said that Samratin Muktalifan Alvanuha. We are translating fruits of different colors. So this is Mosuf Sufab, uh, but we are kind of creating like uh, Mudaf Mudaf Ilahi. Yes. I was concerned about it, that even in the example. Ha, it back to Samarot. This is my, the translation. It will all. I uh, all. This is a detailed topic, but you need to just get a little introduction to it. That what it is all about. What is Nada Sababiya for now? Because um, I am not going to get into the further era because you will not be able to understand it now. As the translation thing like this because it's coming here. So this ha is going back to Samarot. We can check the same thing. It is going to have here. So ahluha the is where it is going to is going back to Arya. And the third example is 
Okay, we again have the ha here, and this ha is going back to uh, the baratun. Baratun. So this is why the uh, is like the most because of the pronoun I. Will be like a mudaf uh, mudaf ilayhi. This is mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Ahlu is the mudaf and ha is the mudaf ilayhi. The ha is going back to qadya. This is launu is mudaf and ha is the mudaf ilayhi. The ha is going back to baqaratun. So there, obviously this is the izafa construction. This is the izafa construction. Well, the way you explain this, I'm we to see uh, the last word has to be in the Rafai state. Like Kariyatu Danimu, Danimu is the ism file, and the word after it um, has to be in the Rafai state. This is a simple formula, not the sababiya. Yeah. For now, for now, you just have to understand that um, the after the Mosu will be an ismul file or an ismul maful. After that, so they become the Mosu, and then whether it's another sub or it's another sub, after you will see them in the chat. So it will be the Mutlik to teach it to that all from. You see, um, this is for uh, is a construction. So um, the pronoun back to the, uh, the Mosu. This is what is happening. I think it's, it's pretty ridiculous. This is, this is a little probably complicated for few of you, but I cannot go in further details because the terminology is difficult. You will never be able to now. But inshallah, as we continue studying, we learn every day. So just remember it and just take whatever I'm trying to deliver to you. Inshallah. At least today you have learned that na the sababi is something new that we haven't really previously done. This can be another time of a of a mosu sifat construction or not manu construction. That we was never touched. Some of you who have done the advanced level, like Sister Rasia, they know it already. But for the rest of the sisters who haven't done the advanced level, they know. They will. Uh, they have learned it today. So, uh, and then obviously there are so many details that we keep learning as we progress in the advanced studies. So, okay, let us read the next. Inshallah, this is all for. We have to proceed. This is all for this. The next bab. Babul Atav. ستفيد <تصفيق> أو على مجزوم جزمة تقول قام زيد وعمر 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 ورأيت زيدا وعمرا ومررت بزيد وعمر أمر وزيد لم يقم ولم يق يقعد. Hufuyati Ashadu, the words, the huruf for connect to how many then? Yeah, and then we have all the ten of them. Alva, Walfa, Wasumma, Wa O, Wa Am, Wa Imma, Wa Bal, Wa La, Wa Latin, Wa Hatta. And then for Hatta only they are saying, Wa Hatta, Fi, Bada, Abdi. At some place, at some places it is in the last But in Utisa, we have so it is if it, if the word 
that comes as an at for rafaism, then it will take the status. Aw ala mansubin nusibat. And if it is a word that comes as the other for a word in the nasab status, then it will take the nasab status. Aw ala sudin kufbat. And if it is uh, coming as a connector for the word in the jar status, then it will take the jar status. If it is with a word it is in the jar, it itself will take the jar status. So it means that the harfi ataf can connect the ism and can connect the fail. How do, can we say that it can connect the ism and the fail? Because all the four mentioned uh, statuses. I mentioned here, especially the jazam says that okay, the hafi ata can connect to pay and get well. Sapulu, then they have given the example Sapulu, like uh, you will say, Koma Zaidun wa Amrun. So Zaidun wa Amrun, the wa Akil, wow, Zaidun are in the Rafa status. So only we have to check the status for it, and that's all. Then we are seeing uh, the connectors. So the connectors will only follow in the status. They may follow another thing, but that is necessary. The so what is the necessity or the question that they have to leave in the status? So now we see so Status and Amran is also in the Nasab status. Hard to be both of them. The status. The last example is with the fail. Lam yakum wa lam yud was not standing nor stood. Okay, so we the last one. So these are the ten connectors. Uh, some people have given, uh, there's a slight difference in what the 10 connectors are, um, when it, especially when it comes to Amma, but the rest of the eight, you will find uh, the same in all books. Wow, Fa, Summa, Aw, Amma, Imma, Bal, La, La, Sin, Hatta. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, the, what is, what is the name of it? The first word, the Madbu. Yeah, the order which is being wrote here, in this case, we'll call it Suf al with the Ayn. And then um, what follows it, the follower is the Ma'atu. So, yeah, and we said Ma'atu follow the Suf only the status, that is and Judaism. So, with the Vow, we have the example, very simple example, Ja al Zaydun wa Hamidun. So, how we will identify it, uh, how we will label it rather. So, Zaydun the Ma'at Ali. The Wa is the Hayati Atav. And Hamidun is the Ba'atu. So, this is a, probably some, uh, for some people, this is a new terminology. Then, example I've taken from Surah Al Fatiha, and this is a connector for the Fi'il. So, Iyaka Na'abudu wa Iyaka Nastain. These are simple examples, just a quick review of them. Um, that is all for now. Yes, so far, uh, and yes, we know that there are so many different ways of translating, uh, especially when it is a harf, depending upon the context. For now, just I have written that it is, can be translated or and So, okay, Zahaba, Khalidun, Fasaid, we can create it. Khalid came, Fasaid came. Shows that. Then we have with the Fa, this um, ayat, Mubaraka. Fi khulu bihi hadun, adahum wahum marwada. So here again we see that Fa is used as a harfi atav. In their hearts is a disease, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has increased their disease, and for them is a painful punishment because they have this uh, they did. Uh, 
Then we have summa, and again we know that summa is used for them. Akal al Zaidun, summa Fatima tu, Zaid eight, and then Fatima. And then the example from Quran is Al Nadi Yasla Nar al Kubra, Summa la Yamutu Fiha, Wala Yahya. He will enter and burn in the greatest fire, neither dying nor living. Okay, Aw, again we know that for Aw it is, Aw means or. Most of the cases, um, Aw means or, the context can be different, but meaning in most of the cases is or. Yes, so this example I have taken. So two places we see in these ayahs, aw is coming. So aw, we see the translation, it's saying or. And what makes you know what is the breaking through the difficult path is, it is freeing of a slave or feeding on a day of severe hunger an orphan relationship or a needy person in misery. Nice word is al. Mm. Means rather or Eid bal harun Eid but Hamid. So it means like Sai didn't stand but actually it was Hamid who was standing. And from Quran we have the example bal huwa but it is the honored Quran inscribed in the preserved slate or the preserved tablet. Now, this is something new how la is used. So, these were probably things that we have done so many times, we really don't need to get into further details. How la is used as a harfi'at. It will mean the same, not. But see this example, Puzi kitaba la qalam. So, it means that. Who's is the Fili Amr? Take the and not well. <coughs> so here the la is used as the harfi atav. In the Quran, I couldn't find an example of it, but then this is a simple example and we can understand Khuzil Kitab our La Qalam, take the book, not the pen. So that's how it is used. Then we have Lakin. Lakin also means but Ma Khama Khalilun Lakin Sa'idun. Khalil was standing, but Khalil was not standing, but Sa'id. <coughs> so, okay. um, example from the Quran. So it says, um, the seven heavens and the earth, and whatever in them, exalt him. And there is no thing except that it exalts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his praise, but you do not understand their ways. So, Latin is used in the way. Okay, this is again something new. Uh, hatta. So, um, quickly type in the chat box that how Jitta is used. Or someone can unmute the mic and tell that how is it they use Hatta. Yes, Sister Maryam is saying that Hatta is used as harp of Jar. How else? We just covered one previous session. Yes. Can use as a harp and after that we said that is going to be the harp, um, the anmasariya, which is muqaddara, uh, implied harp. Um, Okay, so if it is going to be a harf al jar, we will know that that hatta will be followed by an ism in the majrul status. We can identify, okay, hatta is harf al jar or is it not harf al jar? 
if the hatha is using the hal al mudari then what will happen it will be followed by an if uh, a fi'il uh, which um, face of the present tense fi'il mudari and that fi'il mudari will be so that will be a giveaway to Okay, that hatha is used as a hafi nasib alil mudawal. Now, what is happening? First of all, the hatha in the translation you will see that okay, and then we have to see that whatever comes before hatha and whatever comes after hatha, both of them will have the same set. Then they are going to be um ism, and here it is what an nasu is coming before it. Masuf alay an nasu in the rafa status. Hatta is the harfi ataf. Al ambiya is the matuf and also in the rafa status. So see, this hatta has not given given it a jar, but we checked it with what comes before the hatta, and we have identified that both of them are in the same status, rafa and rafa. The matuf alay is rafa, and the matuf is also rafa. Hence, this hatta is the half of jar. The translation is people die. Even messengers, Yamu to Nasu Hal Amdau, people die even so. If there is a question, um, then you can quickly ask. Uh, for the example, for the uh, bal, uh, as a, uh, what what is the math of uh, alay for that? Bal? Yeah. Bal huwa. Quran or Majid. Okay, the previous things I haven't um, mentioned here. Um, I, I, uh, okay. Actually, in this case, what is happening? The sentence being connected uh, to the sentence. Uh, since no, it's that's a not the therefore, it's, it's always necessary to be Matufale and Matu. One word have to the question. Exactly. Repeat. Then did you ask a question? I did not understand. No, I was actually explaining that since it's a connector, therefore it is necessary to have matufile and matuf as well. There exactly. will always be a talk. Give me an example of this one. So, Sabbihu Lahu Samawati. Where is Matuf and Matufile of Lakin? This Aya. Yep. The, the, the sentence before it? Um, this is the? The whole sentence, right? Um, yes, the whole, the whole sentence. The whole of it, yeah, I can. I can mark it. It'll be Hamdi. Okay. I will mark it. And how do I stand for that? Which one? Just a moment. Okay. So, what would be the stress for my because it's the okay? So, basically, this is a connection of a sentence with a sentence. Um, this is a complex sentence, so uh, just leave it and understand that okay. So, let us not go into it when it is a word for a word, then it is easy for us to see the status. But when it is a sentence for a sentence, we can just see that okay, one sentence is being connected to the other sentence. Or uh, can we have it between a fashion? Oh, yes, we can. We can. But that is um, in a complicated thing. Ibn al Doom hasn't really talked about it. We can have it that way. Mm -hmm. For now, what we are talking about an ism with an ism or a fail with a fail. So um, just uh, let us stick to it. And sometimes it's a word for a word. 
we sometimes just a sentence for a sentence for us because we are not at that advanced level to identify the status of a sentence so we will just say okay this bell is connecting the sentence before it like we will say here we will say that okay let us we are not at such an advanced level to identify the status of a sentence although some sentences of the sentence we have so sentences don't have a status then it is said is la mahalla laha min al iraq but just for us we can say that okay two sentences are being connected with the connector which is lacking in this ayah mubarakah so this is all for us now now we will so that to read so now yes. can as well as wow both are at the sorry yes both of them uh, both of them are ट Okay, let us read. Subhanallah. Rafi, if you're ready, so let us continue. Abu Tawfi Sabil Imu Imu Aid Rihi Bihi Bahi Arif. كونوا بالفاظ معمات وهي رسول عين وكل واجمع وتوابع اجمع وهي اقطع وابتع وابسع تقول قام زيد نفسه ورايت القوم قوم كل كلهم مررت من قومي फॉलोअर फॉर द मोअकद इन the rafa status the nasab status and the jar status what are he and in, in it being proper so when it is said is being proper it means either being proper or common uh, both can be included they have just left the what are he mean what are he was and okay wa yakun bil zim ma'lumatin and it is uh, ويكونوا بالالفاظ معلومه and this is with some known words the words that we know so it means that these certain words will connect the tawfid sadi wa hiya nafsun wa ayn wa kullu wa ajma'u so four of them are nafsun ayn kullu and ajma'u and then we can conjugate the ajma'u like a normal ism and then what is tawabi'u ajma'a and the tawa and they are at-tawabi'u ajma'a wa yaqulu qama zaydun nafsuhu so qama zaydun nafsuhu they have given the example they standing and nafsuhu it coming for emphasis and we see that it is following it with the the status both of them are in the rafa status and both of them are proper then the next example is ra'aytu al-qawm kulluhum i saw the nation all of them so uh, both of them are proper and both of them are under the status and the next example is marartu bil qawm ajma'ina i went with the nation all of them means i went with all of the nation the whole of them so we see the al-qawm is in the jar status and ajma'ina also is in the jar status and um ajma actually will not be able to um identify whether it is uh, coming as uh, proper or common nice the same it's not going to be al ajma 
Dil is ajma who will come will come as a taqid uh, with the words like um, the same word al ajma. So what of it what happens whenever a taqid is coming in ninety percent the the emphasis is coming for something which is proper. Hardly in very rare cases it happens that the taqid is coming for something which is wrong. So that is why for now we will say that okay, that um, the status is uh, sorry, the type is um, proper and time will treat allows this is a particular word. So we treat this as Taki first word one being will call it Mu'tad. It's coming and Kaf, uh, sorry, Hamza Waud, Hamza Kaf Dal are the root words. So Mu'akkad, Ismul Mahfur, and then Taqid. So Taqid will, Taqid will, the Mu'akkad and the Sa'id and will follow it in the Taqid. Is although it doesn't really say here, but I have mentioned it in the class notes that sometimes the taqid is coming with the word. Sometimes it, the taqid is done with the word, and sometimes it is done with the meaning. So then, when it is done with the word, taqid is lovely. And that will happen. what happens is it's the same word is being repeated. Like here, for example, there is. So we see the whom is being repeated exactly the same word, so this is called Tajkid al repetition with a same word. And then we see that we have the um, Tajkid which is using the word and the word so that a new and and the Tawab follower for Ajma, which is Okay. This now, uh, this, this way, Taki and Nafs and Ainu is not used in Quran. Normally, uh, we use them in Arabic language, but in Quran, there aren't any examples for Taki. Uh, in the words Nafsu and Ainu, but um, these words are used in some other context, some other way. So for Ainu um, and Nafsu, we say that they come as a Taqid for singular. They are used for a singular word and they come as a Muzaf with the Zamir of the um, Yes, and then I have said that these are not used. These words are not used in Quran for Taqi. The so first example is Ja Zaidun Nafsuhu. Zaid came just for this. It is actually difficult to even take this sense when it comes to English. So just Nafsuhu coming and coming. And then next example is Ja al Ustazu Ainuhu. So Ainuhu is coming for Ustaz and again coming for. So just for now, we will be used for emphasis with a single and they will come as a mudaf who is coming. And this who is basically going back to Zaid. So this is always going to be in the Izaha construction. They will form the mudaf, and after them will be the mudaf ilay. The mudaf ilay will always go back to the mu'akkad. Here also see that they, they are forming an izafa construction. The who um, is the mudaf ilay, and this mudaf ilay is going back to the al ustazu. If I this name, uh, the stars, 
So, so then we are in a uh, so female and we see the ha, this ha back to uh, the female. This kulu and kulu comes as a taqid for plural and the construction is exactly the same as for ainun and nafsun. So ja al kulu kuluhum. Uh, the nation came, all of them, or all of the nation came. So we see that al qawmu is the mu'akkad, and kullu is kullu, the whole thing will take taqi. And the kullu is coming as a muraf to a whom, and this thing is going back to a home. This is from the Quran. Walausha Rabbuka la amana man fis man kulhum. So had your Lord will, don't uh, believe all of them entirely. So it is So this kulhum is basically going back to. Al Arbi, oh, sorry, uh, the man. So, man is the focus, and Kulu is the Taki. And Kulu is coming as Mudor to the home, and who is again back to the man. Whoever are in the uh, that's how it is. Then we have. Ajmau and Ajmau actually is coming as a double taqi, we can say it for our understanding, and it will always follow Kullu. So Kullu will come in its normal way. And if we want to emphasize for more, then after Kullu will add Kullu Kitaba. So I read, uh, sorry, I read the book. Yes. Whole. Hmm. And then this example from Quran. First, the al malaikatu kulluhum ajmaun. So for al malaikatu, the two um, emphasis or two words for emphasis are coming first. The kulluhum in its form, the way we have discussed. And then for extra emphasis, the ajma'un is coming. So here we see that ajma'u has conjugated because mala'ikatu is plural. So hence this is used as plural. And then the rafa status, you can see rafa status, rafa status, and rafa status. And this again is not used for our extra emphasis. That even in the Arabic language, that we usually don't use it for this much emphasis, but these words are the tawabe or the followers for ajma'u and these three words will always come together aktaw, aktaw and aktaw so the al has to be kulluhum ja qawmu kullu for one empty then added emphasis, they added a jimaun, and then these are the four for a jimaun, so therefore, further more, if you want to really emphasize upon it, so they will add these words. So, al qawmu we will take of them together as one taqi, you can see different words, just now, let's just see all together in one bracket as taqi. So we will say al qawmu is the mu'akkad and kulluhum ajma'una, aqta'una, aqta'una, and aqta'una together is a taqi coming. Already we are uh, 
the time is up for the class but please quickly do the badal today is if there is a question then please leave it for the end of the session let me complete the badal you write down the question and i will end uh, i will answer at the end of it inshallah let us read this babul badal If Sister Afia is not the only one, can read quickly, please. Um, reading I got to uh, YouTube. Subhanallah. Okay. I thought you because you have kids, so I thought uh, you got busy. No, I read. I I read quite a bit, and then I read when you said while she's reading, then I realized the mic is on me. إذا قيل اسم اسم أو فعل من فعل تبعه في جمع إعرابي وهو أربع أربعة أقسام بدل بدل الشيء شيء من الشيء وبدل البعض من الكل وبدل الاجتماع بدل الغلط نه نه قولك قام زيد أخوك وأكلت رغيف ثلوثه ونفع نفعني زيد علمه ورأيت زيد الفرس أردت أردت أن تقول الفرس فغلي فغلي فغلط فأبدلت زيدا منه. So they were saying that when um, substituting an ism. So an ism will be substituted for an ism. That is what it means. Either abdila ismun min ismin, an ism will be substituted for an ism. Or fi'alun min fi'alin, and a fi'al will be substituted for a fi'al. Tabi'ahu min jami'il a'raf. So it will follow it, means whatever it is coming after, or whatever it is substituting. So it will follow it. Jami'i a'rabi it. Or it's a job. Okay, and then they are telling the types for it. Wahua arbaatun aqsamin, and there are four types for it. And we know the four types is the first one is badlu shayin min shayin, which is also called the badlekul, or we can say the substitution of one thing for another. Wabadlu baadin min kullin, and the substitution of a part of a thing for the whole. Or badle baad, wo badlul istemal. So the same name badlul istemal. You'll see what it is. And the last one is badlul. And they have given the examples. Nah wa qouli ka qam zaidun akhu ka. So for zaidun akhu ka is coming as the badal. And both of them we see are in the hasa. وَأَكَلْتُ تُلُوسَهُ I relief I ate the bread half of me in third of it. نَفَى مِنْ زَيْنْ عِلْمُهُ and Zed benefited his ilm. So basically it's a way of saying that Zed's knowledge benefited me. So for Zed عِلْمُهُ is the badl. Or which badl it is we will see. I think this is the badl ishtimaad. And Rai to Zaidan Al Farasa. And I saw Zaid, rather, uh, the horse. So actually, then it's explaining about Badlet Nugalat and it's Aratta and the whole Al Farasa. You intended intended to say Al Faras, the horse. But with the mistake, you changed it. Zaidan minhu. So what happened? You intended to say the horse, but with a mistake, unintentionally, you changed it, substituted with Zed, and then you said uh, after saying Zed, you said Al Faras to make up for your mistake. So know that Al means the replacement. Now the word the word come before it is called Mubdal min and then the word that was is the badal. There are four types of uh, substitutions. The four types of badal they are 
بدلے کل بدلے باز بدلے استعمال اینڈ بدلے غلط تو بدلے کل استعمال we call it it's the badle kul so this example right in the starting of the quran we have alhamdulillah rabbil alamin so for the lafzi jalala rabbil alamin is the badal so we will say that lafzi jalala is the mubdal minhu and rabbil alamin is the badal for it Some of you will question and they will say that we have done it at Mosul Sifa. Yes, so always when it comes to Arab, there you will find the difference of opinion. And most of the people say Mosul Sifa. The rest of them also say that this is the Mughal Milhu Empire. And also this example for Ya'budu Rabba Had al-Bayt as Ismu Nishara and Musharun Ilayh. So that is one way of labeling it and another way of labeling it is you label the Hada as a Mughal Minhu and Al-Bayt as a Badal for it. Then a simple example I have given uh, that was there in the text as well. Ja Zaid al So what happens? Zaid uh, is the name of your brother. So the person is saying your brother Zaid came. So Zaid is the Move the name and Akhuka is the model for it. So this was Badlekul when one thing substitutes the other thing. One ism rather substitutes the other ism. So that's a complete substitution. Now this is the, um, not the complete substitution, but it is a portion of the whole. This is a substitution when a portion of the whole will substitute uh, for the whole thing. So here what it is? Dwaraptu Zaidun Raktuhu. So I hit Zaid on his head. So basically, uh, it is a way of saying that I hit on Zaid's head. Another way of saying is Dwaraptu Zaidun So Zaid here will become the Mubdan Minhu and Raktuhu will become the Badal for it. And again, the Mubdan Minhu uh, for the Mubdal Minhu, you will see that the Badal has, is coming as a Muzaf to the pronoun of the Mubdal Minhu. So you will, this will be in the Izaf Akasha. Okay, give me two minutes for the Adhan. Thank you, Akshi. Jazakallah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, mm, it doesn't matter. We did it already, so we'll talk about the next example. So, uh, here what happens? Qawmuhu is the Mutalimu, and Sab'ayna Rajulan, the whole of it, um, will become the Badal for it. So, not the whole nation, but a part of them, and how many? 70 people from the whole nation. So, this is basically the Badle Baal. You can see the translation, and it says, and Moses chose from his people 70 men for our appointment or to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, Badle Ishtamal is what? It is something, is a substitution for something which is related to the Mughal Minhu. The example will explain what it is like. Suliba Zaidun Haqibahu Haqibuhu Haqibu means uh, the bag. So Zaid the Zaid the Haqibuhu Zed bag was snatched. So Zedun is the Mubdal Minhu and Haqibu, his bag is the Badal for it. And then this example from the Quran. Yes, Alunaka Anish Shahril Harami, Qitalun Kihi. So they asked about 
they asked you, O Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, about the sacred month, about fighting therein. So they are not asking about all of or everything about the sacred month, but rather what specifically they are asking. They are asking about the qital in it or the fighting in it. So that is a badli istimal from example from the Quran, and then this is simple. We all know it that when we say something. By a mistake, and then we replace it. We said the right word after it. So, if a person has seen Bakr and mistakenly he said that Ra'i to Zaid and I saw Zaid, and right after it he corrected himself and he said Ra'i to Zaid and Bakr. So, Alhamdulillah, this was all for today. This is then you can stop the recording after I make the dua and then I will take question answers. Subhanakallahumma. Alhamdulillah. Nakadu Allah ilaha illa anta nastaqfiruka wa natubu.